My name is Shelley Clay, and I'm the director of a parent project and Poppy on Enterprise in Haiti. Just right before the earthquake, we have an artist named Matt Keelan. She, was, um, she just had her fifth child, and she's sitting in the dirt outside my house um, thinking that we were an orphanage um, trying to give up her daughter. And here she is now, just uphill, a landowner who has a two bedroom apartment, and she's got six kids now, and all of them are in school. I mean, there's just no way that you can deny that just the dignity of work has changed your life incredibly. Nestling is eight. 18, maybe 19 years old at this point, and she um, lost her entire family to cholera. In fact, when she was, uh, she gave birth to her son, she was living in the apparent project house shortly after her mom was helping to care of the baby. And I mean, she was only 17 years at the time, and I remember walking in and seeing her mother with the baby, and the next day coming to work and finding out that the mother had died to cholera, and her, and her brother died to cholera, her dad was already dead, so she's 18 years old, complete orphan herself with a brand new baby. And to see her still sitting here every day, coming to work, taking care of her son, who's now three years old, um, starting to send her to preschool, and um, being completely alone, but yet being able to take care of herself because of her work is pretty amazing. I love the connection that companies like Trades of Hope bring from uh, a North American woman to an impoverished woman in places like Haiti. Um, it, it enables someone to connect in a dignified way to give people hope uh, through sustainable business. Rather than a charitable giving, it gives a woman in the United States a platform to stand up for women without having to do something that keeps them in the trap of, um, of aid and charity. These women are just like you. They're just like me. They want to be able to take care of their families. They want to be empowered to be able to earn an income and have a job, feel good about themselves, take pride in what they're doing, and how wonderful for them to be able to make a beautiful product, a beautiful purse, beautiful pair of earrings, a beautiful necklace, and know that there's a woman in America wearing it who thinks they're valued because they've done this amazing thing. So come, be a compassionate entrepreneur and change the world with us. Thank you.